New life is coming to a St. Charles County landmark. First constructed in the 1860s as a general store. Fox News' Laura Simon shows us the major renovation that's happening on Oak Street in downtown Cottleville. It's a partnership, so it's my mom and dad and my husband and I. We actually own the public schoolhouse here in Cottleville, and we've restored that building. And when this building came about, um, it's kind of what we do in town. We like to restore the buildings and bring them back. Driving or walking through the heart of historic downtown Cottleville, you can't miss this. It was originally built in 1862 as a general store. It's been a post office and a hotel. Eventually, the building was restored and turned into an antique shop. It was a lot of things over the years, and it was a junk store in town. <laughs> so we're really excited to kind of bring it back and make it a hotel again. We're going to have three hotel rooms on the second floor. And in the attic space, we're actually converting that to a suite. You can see they have the building lifted right now. This is so they could pour a new foundation and build a full basement. It'll be set back down this week, weather permitting. So I really think people in town appreciate the fact that we're not just tearing it down. It still has really good bones. It's obviously a lot of work to take this approach, but it has a great story behind it. There will be a craft cocktail lounge on the main level and a speakeasy in the basement. So that's going to come a little bit later. We're going to focus on the hotel and the craft cocktail lounge first. Chelsea Sweeten and her family purchased the property from the previous owner in January of last year. The renovation started in April. The goal is for the Oak Street Inn and Lounge to open sometime this summer. We have a lot of homes coming to Cottleville here, so we need a lot more businesses and places to eat and things to do. So we're just trying to be a part of that growth. The family says they've invested around $1 million to make this project happen. Reporting in Cottleville, Laura Simon, Fox 2 News.